I am Wonder 001 and if you're like me and have either an apartment or a condo with an air conditioner wall sleeve, you know how difficult it can be to replace an air conditioner unit that will actually fit in the sleeve. With that said, this is a review of the Comfort Air model BG81J and model BG123J. One is the quote-unquote bedroom size unit which is 8,000 BTUs and the other is a living room unit which is 12,000 BTUs. Both of them have the same form factor. Uh, the only difference is one is uh, 220 volts, the other is your standard 115 volts. Uh, the one that I'm filming on is the 220 volts only because it's too dark in my bedroom uh, but for all of the electrical displays and uh, readouts, I'll be using the bedroom unit for those. So like I said, if you have a wall sleeve, you know how difficult it is to find an air conditioner to fit that. Uh, this particular air conditioner will fit in wall sleeves that are manufactured from General Electric or Hot Point, uh, Westington House or Frigidaire, uh, Federer's or Frederick, Whirlpool or Kenmore. Uh, I probably butchered, well, I know I butchered some of those names, but what are you going to do? One of the main reasons that I ended up replacing the air conditioners that were in my condo, uh, the one in my bedroom was pre-1975. Uh, it, it still cooled the room very nicely, uh, but it was by no means Energy Star efficient. I mean, that thing was put in before Energy Star was even a word. Uh, the one in my living room, slightly newer, but still not Energy Star. Um, both versions of the Comfort Air air conditioner here are Energy Star rated. Uh, the 220 is rated at $101 of use, uh, giving it an energy efficiency rating of 9.4. Uh, bedroom model, or the 8000 BTU model, also Energy Star rated for 9.4 with $68 of um, use. In my testing, which as I prefaced before using the uh, 8000 BTU model, just having it plugged into the wall, it had a, a vampire leech of electricity of between 1.1 and 1.2 watts. If you turn just the fan on without having the AC compressor going, depending on your fan speed, uh, you're looking at 115 watts to about 130 watts. Once you turn the air compressor on for the AC, you know, what you're actually getting this unit for, um, you're looking at, depending on temperature, size of room, how hot the room is when you start the cooling, or if you're just maintaining a temperature of anywhere between 750 watts to 875 watts. Now, I'll flash those up in the corner as I go along, just so you can see. But even, even with that said, it's still energy efficient, but not quite as energy efficient as the sticker may have you believe. Uh, with that out of the way, I will show you a little bit of the air conditioner itself, uh, and then I'll show you the control panel in the upper left there. And I'll start with the nifty remote that it comes with. Uh, as you can see, it has a power button, a mode button, these will be your directionals up and down depending on the mode, timer, speed, one touch, and sleep. Uh, the one touch kind of like almost factory resets everything so you probably want to avoid using that one. Uh, the remote comes with two AAA batteries and the remote top has a glossy finish to it while the back not a matte finish but like just a rough plastic finish. All right, so some in-the-box things that come with this particular unit. Uh, there is a collar that goes around the sleeve that you slide the air conditioner into. To make it uh, look a little more flush, there is a gap in my sleeve, which is a frigid air. Uh, so this covers up the gap. Uh, the people who installed this, I didn't install this myself, uh, put some extra insulation around the edge aside from just the uh, 
the wind gauge or the the wind dampeners that come uh, came with the unit. The only thing is, I don't think it's doing enough of a job of insulating it. Uh, I ended up in the winter time getting a thermal cover for this, which is a quilted cover that has two pieces of foam in between uh, the cover and the air conditioner unit, and I could still feel a draft coming through. So I ended up putting uh, one towel over the face, uh, a towel, towel underneath, two towels on the side, and then a draft dodger up on the top. And I could still feel a little bit of a draft. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is going in, taking this off, which they screwed on, uh, and putting some more insulation in there. Uh, it's one of the other things that I didn't quite like about this unit. Uh, the old 70s version that I had in the bedroom had a, had a damper on it, so you could close and open that to uh, let in the air from the outside or utilize the air inside, similar to what you have in a car. Uh, this unit does not have a dampener, so it's always open to the elements. So you get a good breeze in the wintertime. If you don't have a cover on it, you're going to feel it coming through the unit. With that said, it, it's a minor thing. If you get a cover, you'll help mitigate that a little bit. So don't let that be the only deterrent for you. It has a three-directional uh, air delivery system. You've got one flap on the one side that'll go left and right, another flap on the other side, left and right, and up and down. It has a filter in it, which from my experience, I got this last year, uh, running during the you know hot part of the summer where I live. Uh, there's a filter notification that pops up over here. For me, that came on roughly every two to three weeks. Uh, the filter, all it is, pops out and it's just supposed to help collect dust and in my case cat hair uh, actually you'll see in a minute when I show you the close-up of the panel that it is indicating that the filter is dirty uh, just so you can see what it considers a dirty filter you can see there's not really much on the filter and directions for cleaning the filter are you know wash it with cold water and let it air dry completely before you stick it back in here. Or you can do like I do and just cheat and vacuum it and stick it back in and then reset the, uh, the filter. Um, that's pretty much the overall unit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a close-up of the panel, give you a little bit more about what the panel will actually do, and explain some of the other features. Please bear with me. I've been trying to get the air conditioner to turn off, but since it's 90 degrees today while I'm filming it, uh, I'm having a little trouble getting the air conditioner to actually turn itself off. Uh, so I'll try and speak really loudly as I show you this while the air conditioner is actually on so you can actually see the lights and so forth. All right, so here we have a close-up of the control panel on the Comfort Air. Uh, again, this is the living room model. I do have a piece of paper on the right here trying to see if that'll help mitigate the uh, sound from blowing over. Uh, I turned it up to 86 just to try and get it to turn off and it's still not doing it. So bear with me. Uh, like I said, I'll talk really loud and hopefully you can hear me. Uh, this unit has energy star mode. What the energy star mode will do is once the air conditioner reaches its temperature, it will turn off and then once it becomes lower than the preset temperature, it'll turn the unit back on. So what it does is it's a power saving mode. This way you don't constantly have either the fan or the air conditioner itself running. Uh, next to that is the sleep mode. What that is and what I use it for is when I'm going to bed in the living room, I'll turn on the sleep mode. And what that does is if I have it set to 70, which is where I normally keep it at, it will, the first half hour after you push the sleep mode button, it will raise the temperature of the internal thermostat two degrees. And then the following half hour, it will raise the thermostat another two degrees without having to change the display number or your preset temperature. Now it will hold that new four degree difference for six hours and then return to its original preset temperature. Uh, so another power saving mode if you think of it that way. Uh, next to the sleep mode is the temp down button or the toggle down button. Next to that is the display for the temperature. Temperature toggle up. 
and the filter check button. So if you look above that, it is displaying orange. That means that you should look at the filter and do something with the filter. Uh, either vacuum it or clean it off. I vacuumed it, so I'm going to push the button and it resets the filter check. The lower left here, we have a toggle. It is for fan, dry, cool, and auto. I'll start in the upper left. That is just the fan. You turn that button on and it will just utilize the fan option. If you use the dry function, what that is, is kind of like a really rudimentary dehumidifier. So it'll help to pull some of the humidity out of the air and slightly lower the temperature if the humidity is the reason the temperature is up. Um, under that is the cool, that is your air conditioner mode. Next to that is auto, where you just let the unit figure out what it thinks is the best thing that it should be doing. Uh, generally, I either use it on cool or fan. Next to that is timer, on and off. If you utilize the timer while the air conditioner is on, that will tell it that you want the timer to be set for it to turn off at a, a specific time. Uh, it can be set for between 1 and 24 hours. If you set the timer while the unit is off, that will tell it that you want it to turn on with the preset time that you do. Uh, here's your little remote control blaster so it can get information. Next to that is the fan speed settings. So you have high, medium, low, and auto. Again, auto will decide what you want to use it for. Uh, in, the bedroom, in the bedroom model, the 8000 BTUs, I generally leave it on medium. Uh, the 12,000 BTU model that's in my living room, I leave on low. This way, when the unit kicks on and you have the TV on and the fan on low, you don't have to really turn up the TV really, really loud. That's one of the other problems with having a larger BTU uh, unit, you turn if you have a large BTU unit, it's generally going to be louder. The 8000 BTU unit I leave on medium because I kind of want that fan noise to uh, block out my neighbors. We'll leave it at that. And to the right of that is the on off button. That is the gist of these two particular units, the 8000 BTU unit and the 12000 BTU units. I've had them for over a year, and I'm really happy that I made the change. Like I said, with the few caveats that I don't particularly care for, I'm gonna see about doing some things to fix the drafts and, and what have you, but for the lower cost to run the air conditioners, I'm perfectly happy with it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.